I told them the offer was the best we could do. And they said no. Inquisitor. Inquisitor.
A pleasure. How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. Let's speak later. I can spare some time. What do you need? Tell me the truth, Varric. Do you actually think I was sent by Andraste? Shit. This is going to be awkward. I guess I do. Either you're guided by the hand of some higher power, or you have the worst luck. I wouldn't have pegged you as an Andrastian. It's a great story. It's got heroism, love, betrayal, and random musical numbers. What's not to like? I don't have a nug in this race. It could be bullshit, it could be true. I'll never know. But I like the idea that maybe you could save the world with a song. Why are those my only options? Look at all the shit that's happened to you. You were saved from the explosion that leveled a mountaintop and fell out of the Fade. You traveled through time, faced down one of the ancient magisters who started the Blights, had a mountain fall on you, and lived, single-handedly saved the Orlesian Empire. One of those things would be impossible. All of them together? That's a miracle. So, on the basis of my extraordinarily bad luck, you think I'm Andraste's herald? If you know the story of Andraste, you know that bad luck is sort of her thing. You learned a
I expected ruins. They were. As you see, the Inquisition has not been idle. 
Would it be possible to meet the Herald before we return to Ghislaine? My dear Laurent, for you, anything. Allow me to present Inquisitor Lavellan. Your Worship, you do us great honor. Inquisitor, this is my dear Bastien's sister, Grand Cleric Marceline, and his son, Duke Laurent of the Council of Heralds. Madame de Fer has told us what great trials you faced, trying to save my poor brother's life. The Maker called my father to his side. It was valiant of you to champion him in his final hours. If only I'd been able to save Bastion. The Circle of Magi told Bastien many years ago that his illness was incurable. It was simply his time. Would you mind waiting for me in the chapel, my dears? The Inquisitor and I have business to discuss. It has been our very great pleasure, Harold. This has been quite the triumph, hasn't it? They just adore you. Duke Bastion's family seem quite pleasant. Ordinarily, I would have warned you that Marceline has the temper of a hungry vulture, but she's quite taken with you. Laurent is a dear, almost as pious as his aunt, and new to a seat of great power in the Empire. And Marceline is one of the strongest voices among the Grand Clerics. Now they will both come to us for advice. The Inquisition is truly a power now, and there's no telling how far its influence will reach. But enough of this talk. Here, I have something for you. I commissioned this ring from the Four Mari, the greatest enchanters in all Thedas, for you. This is a generous gift. Thank you, Vivian. Once it was customary for the Circles to craft enchantments for their staunchest friends and allies. And you have been both. I must go to see my guests now. Another time, darling. <laughs>